So why do you think he should he should recuse himself? I mean, I think it, it's very clear. Clarence Thomas and rather his wife, Ginny, participated in the events of January 6th. And now what is likely co going before the Supreme Court is a judgment as to whether an event that his wife participated in, that his wife has been investigated by in the January 6th committee in, qualifies as an insurrection. And Clarence Thomas's decision on that one way or another, and overall the court's decision on that, would directly implicate his wife. And so this is just one of the most classic textbook conflicts of interest. AOC went in on Clarence Thomas and his wife Jeannie, calling on the Supreme Court Justice to recuse himself in Donald Trump's upcoming case on whether the former president should be barred from the presidential ballot under the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment. Take a listen. Our hope is that Clarence Thomas has shown that he is willing to recuse himself from a case. This is one of the most direct implications uh, that he has with respect to, you know, perhaps one of one of any of the cases that's come before the court. His wife, you know, one of the one of the documents that Donald Trump actually tried to prevent from from coming to the January 6th committee were documents that showed Ginny Thomas in communication with John Eastman. And so, you know, there is a precedent there. Clar Clarence Thomas, as you mentioned, did not really elaborate as to why he recused himself, but he recused himself with re in a case with respect to John Eastman. His wife had actively been involved in communication with him, pressing uh, John Eastman, pressing Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's chief of staff at the time, and also continues to maintain that the 2020 election was stolen despite a complete lack of evidence thereof. Lawmakers around the country have called out Clarence Thomas and his wife for their self-serving actions. Never mind that he tried to block the January 6th committee from seeing documents that may have included evidence of his wife plotting the insurrection at the Capitol. He would never do something that is in his personal interest above that of what the law requires or sound legal reasoning requires. Confidence in the court is vanishingly low for good reason. The question is, what the hell is Congress going to do about it? When we talk about a person of color that goes back historically to the days of slavery and that person betraying his own community, we have a term in the black community. That term that we use is called uh, Uncle Tom. For too long, the Georgia State Capitol has been home to statues and paintings of those who stood against our values and our democracy. Justice Thomas has indeed lived up to some of the cautions that I presented in my first speech by rolling back judicial president in the pursuit of political objectives, despite having assured the, pub, assured the public and Congress on multiple occasions that he would adhere to, adhere to and respect precedent. Additionally, his wife is directly implicated in not only participating in the insurrection on January 6, 2021. This is not the type of shame we want to enshrine on Capitol grounds. At minimum, this bill should be tabled until such time that Judge uh, Justice Thomas and his wife are cleared of collaboration in this dark chapter in our history. You have members such as, you have justices such as Clarence Thomas, whose family is under active investigation by Congress, whose wife was an active participant in the January 6th insurrection uh, activities. I personally believe that Clarence Thomas should be impeached beyond a shadow of a doubt. I am astonished that this is a position that is in any way controversial to anyone. The degree and extent of misconduct uh, that Clarence Thomas alone, um, in addition to su several of his colleagues uh, have participated and engaged in, is delegitim foundationally delegitimizing to the Supreme Court. And it is our responsibility, our constitutional duty to rein them in.